So as far as malorganite, let's talk about malorganite because okay. you've kind of become like almost like a pitch man in a way of like something that you probably never thought was going to go in that direction. Yeah. But how did you first learn about the product or? By the way, I love being called a pitch man. So <laughs> I, got, I love Billy Mays and I love pitching. I know people, some people get annoyed at that, but I love it. I love even being self-aware that I'm overly pitchy sometimes. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But uh, so Malorganite, I love telling the story is I was working for True Green and I was very new in the, in the late 1990s and we were telemarketing and I called this customer up. But back then we had what were called green sheets. And so you'd have a telemarketer that would call through this list of just like a phone book kind of and they would ask people, hey, we're going to have a sales rep in your area next week. Can they leave you a 14 point lawn analysis? If the person said yes, bam, out would kick a, a qualified lead and I would run 30 of those a day. And so I would run the lead, I would go there, and again, I'd get the measurement of the lawn, come back, call people at night. So I called this one guy, he was in Oak Lawn, Illinois, or, or I think, I always, I can't remember if it was 60655 Oak Lawn or Evergreen Park, but those are all areas up there off of 95th Street on the south side of Chicago. And I remember calling this guy and he said, he goes, look, he goes, my lawn is way greener than any lawn that you guys do. I don't need your service. He goes, but I'll make you this deal. You come up to my house right now. He goes, and I'll show you my lawn. And if my lawn doesn't look as good as yours, then I'll buy the service. I'm like, all right, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. So I went up there and this this dude's lawn was like dark blue. And I said, what are you doing? He goes, I get that malarganite stuff over by there. (laughs) That's what he said. I'm I'm like, you get what? I get that malarganite stuff. I'm like, all right. So I went back to the office and I'm asking guys, what is this malarganite? And they're like, I don't know what it, guys didn't really know what it was. So I went to local Home Depot and figured out what it was. And from there, I was like, all right, that's interesting. That's all I knew. I didn't know anything about biosolids. And then it was a couple years later that I actually bought my first house. Yeah, I used to sell people True Green, and I didn't even own a house. I bought my first house in Griffith, Indiana, and I immediately got malorganite and started throwing it down. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started realizing what it was and how awesome it worked. And my lawn looked better than all the True Green lawns. Again, it's different because I was throwing down mass amounts, right? So it can't compare to a True Green lawn, but I don't care. That's when I started realizing how much fun it could be to actually start jacking with your own grass. Uh Uh-huh. And so that's that's where Malorganite came from. And then over the years, when I started doing my original videos, I would just put in the videos because I loved it and I liked it. And I did, when I started doing those original videos, I always thought to myself that I wanted to make sure that I could talk about products people could get. Like, it's stupid if I'm out here talking about things you can't get. So Malorganite was one of those that you can get. Mm-hmm. And so I would use it and, and work it and people would talk about it. And, and it, it kind of became this little bit of a thing, you know, and mm-hmm. I, I, I think that's hilarious. And so... Yeah. Eventually, Malorganite and I did connect, and I found out that they're just awesome people that I work with over there. I really like what they do and what their philosophy is. They're true environmentalists. They, that's really what their mission is, is to, to, to keep people safe in, in Milwaukee and also subsidize their, their cost to treat their water. So they're, you know, I love what they do there, and yep. that's it.